previously in Manhattan, a sun, Cup of Sunshine's class took a trip to the Manhattan City Zoo, where, where upon arrival, they were greeted by Dundee Winnier, the lead Zeke, the ugh, the lead zookeeper, wh who took them on a tour of the zoo. Many wonderful and entertaining animals were observed as they took a trip around the zoo. But and after the and after they finished the main tour, he offered to show them an upcoming exhibit. But gas. The behind the the preview was not to be, as they learned upon arrival that the would be that the would be exhibit had escaped, and that brings us to this week. Morelli just kind of scratches the side of her head and says, "So what exactly escaped again? The you said jackalopes or something? They technically they well they're named the very deadly jackalope, but." Um, it's a bit, it's, there's a bit of a story behind it, but, um, if we could begin, um, moving towards... How many of these things are we attempting to truck down again? Right well, off the bat, series of unfortunate events. <laughs> <laughs> Just had to say it, sorry. <laughs> Continue. You, you did I nail the series. Yes. Oh, that, that went over my head, good catch. Oh. If you haven't, if you haven't read the, if you haven't read the books, you probably wouldn't get it. I have. It's just been years since oh, middle wild. school. Yeah, that is true. Okay, so um, deadly viper. Yes. So um, Dun so Dundee, with the help of um, Kappa, well, assumingly with the cup help of Kappa and the other adult chaperones, he tries and gets the group to move towards the front of the zoo, as um, the as the other, as the zebra and the two ponies that you met that were there, um, head off in two different directions. Uh, no, that was genuinely an actual question. How many of these creatures escaped? Two, ten, fifty? We have, th we have three of them. Only three. And we're evacuating the zoo. We're not, we're not evacuating, but I can't take you I in there. You're fiddling with something. All right. But we, but I can't show them to you, and we have to be careful so that these animals don't escape. If they did, it would not be good for the city. Better question: Why exactly are they called very deadly? Well, are, are they actually very deadly? Just, let's just answer that question. No, they are not that deadly. It's well, that's um, why everything is very deadly in the proper circumstances, and Monitor actually gives Javolt a look and rolls their eyes. Oh, I mean, fair point, but I'm more worried that it can teleport and, like, murder us. No, you don't, you shouldn't need to worry about them trying to murder you or any teleportation. They're not, they're, they are not, they are not considered, ha they're not considered dangerous to pony kind or zebra kind. Dang, oh. I wanted to get my cutie mark in, t in taming teleporting monster beasts. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, as the group is headed up towards the um, front of the zoo, mostly, you know, the front entrance area, um, Golden Crown is going to see if she can't wrangle together the Cutie Mark Crusaders and get them together near the back of the group in an inconspicuous manner. Aurelia heads back there with the group for the lulls. Sweet cake tries not to look pleased about that. She yes, she she she's keeping she's glancing though to see to um make sure she doesn't do it in a manner that is conspicuous to any of the adults. Pop Rocks will follow obviously bored with this lame TV show knockoff. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm I'm guessing you I'm guessing you didn't you haven't seen last week, have you? No. Okay. And uh, Jibolt actually turns to uh, Dundee and says, How did these creatures escape? Did someone leave open their enclosure? That, that'll that have to... Well, that'll have to be 
an investigate. That'll be another investigation. We'll. Ha- we'll I be- mean, did they escape because of incompetence, or did they escape because they were o- able to open the enclosure? I don't have an answer for that question right now. Because if they escaped because they were able to open the enclosure, they might be able to open other enclosures. And that would be seriously concerning. Exactly. That is why we are taking precaution to ensure that they can't get out. So any, okay. Anyways, sweet cake. Um, she she um how once the um cutie mark gr- the cutie mark group is assembled, she um gets in close and whis and tries to whisper. You know what? I bet that if I bet. If we can sneak away, we could probably find and catch those lo- those guys before the adults do. Yeah. Kitty Mark Crusader, animal wranglers? She puts her hoof in the middle. Or even cooler, cute cutie mark crusader uh what what is the what is the phrase for someone fugitive catchers? Oh, I like it. This is Oh, I've a- always wanted to be a police. My dad says they're down dirty good for nothing, but no wait, no, that was criminals. Wait, what was my dad okay. Police, let's do it. Or, or, there, Aurelia just I, just chuckles. Like some, and I, I hear there's like someone. There's these there's these people that are even cooler than cops. They're like, what is the like bounty hunters? Oh. Like, we should be bounty hunters. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of that. My laughter Cutie is Park Aurelia's in character. Fugitive catchers. Aurelia's just like, hey. man, that sounds like the dumbest thing for a bunch of kids, even my age, to be doing, but. Boy, this is going to be spectacular. Count me in. Oh boy, uh, Mort, Mort? At, Yeah, can I? Who's controlling Mort? Is that me or the I, DM? I think Mort, Mort? Mort is an NPC, so we'll let the DM control Mort. Well, I, I mean, I'm still. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give some measure of control to the people who probably know him better. So probably, uh, Mort probably is Dally. Mort in is which skeptical case, Mort of this idea. I yeah I I'm gonna give you Mort freedom skeptical, but but Aurelia's in on it so he kind of um kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's right more yeah like that's Aurelia. a thing that Ur- Mort, that Aurelia's okay. staunchly ignoring tree. still she's perfectly aware that it exists but she's not going to acknowledge that it exists right now that's just yes, territory I, she I does will... not want to uh, explore no it's Martin Aurelia sitting in a tree. <laughs> Uh, By the way, uh, he's actually whispering this in Mort's ear it's, right now. It's it's like a Mort- total <laughs> in yes, it's like a total tree. inverse yeah, spike in rarity. I N G. Go figure. Okay. Do do I hear that? Do I have to? Would you I like don't... to roll perception? <laughs> <laughs> who's who's wait? Who's trying to hear it? Or who's Aurelia. rolling to hear it? Aurelia's ah. trying to hear me being a dingus. <laughs> <laughs> I I will um if. I I mean I'll leave that up to you whether you want to roll and whether you know uh lapis sure. whether you want to say it's being heard. Uh, it's not a great roll. It's thirteen. Uh, he's not all that quiet. <laughs> uh, Aurelia balls up her fists and makes a motion like she's about to punch Pop Rocks in the face. Just like why I got it. Pop Rocks, uh, but she, but Pop Rocks she, will stick out his tongue and go, you can't touch me. Yeah, she puts down her hands because she knows she, she knows better, but she just is content to have expressed her anger for now and gives Pop Rocks evil eyes. Like, as soon as we're out of here, you're getting it. <laughs> so Sweet Cake says, we need a distraction so we can sneak away from the group. Pop Rocks will continue making, uh, sorry, as Aurelia does the, the thing he will continue making like a yeah you don't scare me face and then the moment she she looks away he's just gonna look terrified. Sweet <laughs> <laughs> cake rolls her eyes and stickers. Or, wait, I I was I think I've been saying sweet cake when yeah, I meant to say yeah, yeah, crown. Crown is what I am so easy to get them dark. mixed up. Yeah, yes, they, they are so similar. What you meant. They're both terrifying. <laughs> uh, yes, golden crown will try to start thinking of a possible way to sneak away from the group can, so they can do their hunt for the jackalopes. Mm. Let's see. You head down from the mystery building up in the northwest towards the yeah. main entrance of the southeast. Yeah, it's heading, it's heading down past the aquarium over the bridge, past the ever 
Creek Gardens, um, past the Kazebo Range, past the Drake Cage, that direction. So, hmm. let's see. Where where would be we, we've got the gardens, which are completely glass walled off. That's not a thing we can really affect. There's the gazebos, the <laughs> the drakes, and the petting zoo. Gazebos. I could probably make a distraction if you guys want to run for it. Aurelia is like I, I wonder. If, I wonder if a little bit of fire in the right place would. Ah, that's probably be a bit too reckless. She raises an eyebrow. Fire, maybe not, but maybe flying. Did you try to rhyme those two words? No. I think I. You making fun of how I talk? No, maybe. Wait, what are we making fun of? I wasn't paying attention. Nothing. Oh, (laughs) dang. (laughs) Aurelia, you and I can fly, so we can get away easier anyway. So we could always be the distraction. We could pretend we see them, maybe somewhere inside one of the enclosures, maybe yeah, in the gazebo the adult, range. The, the adults are going to follow us, is the thing. Yeah, exactly. They follow us. The other three can get away. We'll catch up with them later. I, guess, I mean, if it doesn't work out, we've got uh, we've got plausible deniability. All right, I like it. So where exactly are we standing at the moment? Um, let's say... Uh... The jackalopes are hiding in the gazebos. <laughs> <laughs> Let's I, say I, um, I don't like the sound of this oh, gazebo thing. Wait, no, I, I don't. Think I that... want to attack the gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, do do I hit it? <laughs> do I hit the gazebo? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Welcome, welcome to that bit of last session. Yeah, still just as Eric good. and the dread gazebo. She mm-hmm. uh, really does have really tiny wings. These, yes, these are white church long-haired gazebos. <laughs> Java, where exactly are we again? Uh, let's say that right now you're um, near the intersection between the gardens, the gazebo range, the Drake cage, and the train station. You're heading by okay. that right now. That's a route. And where do we think the um, the jackalopes have gone? Oh, uh, where do we point them? Maybe between the Everfree Gardens and the staff building, something along that path? So that's where we think they went? Yeah. Okay, um, in which case, um, uh, Sweet Cake will say to Golden Crown, Pop Rocks, and Mort, okay, you guys sneak off behind the Everfree Gardens and we'll meet you there. And then she kind of flies up in the air and goes, oh my gosh, I see one! And then she flies straight into the gazebo range. You see them? Where? Aurelia makes a motion of looking as well, and she says, whoa, holy, is that? Oh, oh boy. And she picks up and flies off after, uh, no, kids, kids, don't go. <sighs> yes. Cutie Mark yes. Crusaders, distraction makers. <laughs> don't. I'm not chanting with you. That's not happening. Yes. Um, Dundee will head towards the head in the work in the direction Aurelia, Aurelia of Aurelia has Z really change. really tiny uh and try and for and whoever's asking in the chat. Sorry. Try to and try to signal for the um for Zenkarn and um. Shavolt to keep the group moving towards the um front the um the gift shop build to get the front building. Zenkan and Javolt. Hmm? Sure, why not? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> yes, he will try and get the those well, yes, and um Kappa. Yes, those three adults to keep the group moving as he um <laughs> turns his attention and towards the gazebos. And Javont will actually look to Cup and say, "Aren't is it, aren't those the girls? Isn't that one the ringleader of that little gang that likes to get into trouble?" The cutie mark crusaders. Yes, you're absolutely right. And she's going off alone. Yes, and not, not um, alone. She's got me. And Dundee is also trying to get the other get other staff members to come to check. So. Yeah, yeah, but uh, Javolt's talking to Kappa, and she's going off on her own. Javolt's getting meta. Look out. Okay, um, I am does, going. Does to... Kappa react to this? Or... I'm going. Okay, all the um, all the um, Kitty Mayor Crusaders who are trying to sneak off in the other direction, I need you to make a stealth roll. That would be Pop Rocks. That would just be Pop Rocks, who is the only it's PC, only player one. 
who's currently sneaking. So, uh, oh, I forgot to get into the roll room. So let me go ahead and so, so, actually get in okay, the roll room. Real from, quick. Aside from Aurelia and um, Sweet and um, Sweet Cake, who is trying to sneak off to go hunt for the? Oh, it sounds like Golden Crown, Mort, and Pop Rocks. Okay. Um. What? Okay. We're gonna need. We're gonna need stealth rolls from all three of them. That two of those would be on you then. Uh, what is their um stealth? Their their NPCs. They're NPCs. They don't they have static. Oh, I think we're just u- utilizing whatever sweet cake. Had. Yeah. Well, when I when I rolled for stealth for um sweet cake uh golden crown before, I just used sweet cake stealth, which I think was five. Okay. Right. Oh God, I rolled a natural one. Um, <laughs> you're a full guy. So a five for both um golden crown and um Mort. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if that's okay with you, yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is um This is going good. You guys central. suck. <laughs> Stealf. We are so stealthy. I'll bet Mort's the only one who never mind. <laughs> <laughs> nope, still terrible. We are all so good at this. But it turns out children do not make excellent robes. Okay, <laughs> just go. Just around, that running is so away from the proof. My friends are the best at sell so off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Cup of Sunshine sees all three of them trying to um, sneak off in the other direction. Kappa is just going to do the uh, the ever fun popping up right behind them and going. And just where do you three think you're going? Uh, the bathroom. Yes, definitely the, the bathroom. bathroom. Yes. The, definitely the bathroom. Yes. Yeah, Gold Crown yeah. says yes, all of us. We, we all had to use the bathroom <laughs> at mm-hmm. the same time. <laughs> and you all realize the closest bathroom is most likely to the front where we were headed, correct? Um, no, I mean, I saw a bathroom over there, right? Yeah, there was a bathroom right staff, over there. Staff, the staff building definitely has to have a bathroom, right? Yeah. Kappa is just going to lean down on their eye level and go, All right, on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to try and escape again if I stop this attempt right now? 11. <laughs> <laughs> the ele- <laughs> element of honesty among the Kitty Mark Crusaders. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Crown, Mort. Sweet Cake and Mort will both Golden point Crown. at um, or, I mean, Golden Crown and Mort will both pop point at Pop Rocks and nod. <laughs> Couple will face hoof and sigh and go and before looking at them and going, "All right, against my better judgment, wait for me at the staff building." <laughs> What, you 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 kind of let us run off? No, I'm going to chaperone you as you go on this little adventure. Oh, oh okay. She's such Yay! a good teacher. Yes. <sighs> Golden if you Crown will do a little. Beat him. We'll do a little hop and cheer. She she is celebrating the relent of her teacher. <laughs> 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 celebrating the teacher giving up. Bob Rocks is just gonna look at just gonna look at them. He's like, we've broken her. We've broken her. <laughs> is is Chibol seeing any of this? Um, make a make a perception roll. Alrighty then. What's my perception? That's my perception. I have perception, which is perception. Can everyone make perception. that perception roll? Or just Chibol? Everyone who wants to can make a perception roll. Which is yeah, sure. Why not? The only remaining characters who want to is Zenkai. Oh, and maybe should I have monitor? I'll just do one for monitor as well. Yeah, no, perception seven. <laughs> well, that if that sums out how much I care. <laughs> yes. Um Zenkar <laughs> is the only one not in in Bad Roll Central. Yes, yep. um Devolt rig the dice before the game. The first one the first one is for Jabol. <laughs> I yes, the first one was for Javolt. The, dice the second the first roll is Javolt. The uh, second roll that I made was for Monitor. Monitor. Zen, okay, Zenkarn is distracted by the kids. Um, uh, Monitor is likewise distracted by the trip back up front. Javolt, he sees that... Um, wait, Javolt why sees... was Monitor involved in this? Oh, wait, yeah. Monitor. Monitor is a member of ours. Is she? <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, yes. she's not a member of the Cutie Mark Crusaders, but she is friendly with them. She's an assistant. Oh, right. yeah. Well, 
that call that an oversight on my part. No, she's, she she monitor. I uh, I might sense. be wrong. Call me out on this if I'm mistaken. But I think she's maybe a bit too sensible to get involved with the majority of their troublemaking. Yeah, monitor. She also might just like her uncle a bit too much. Yeah. I mean, not too much, but like you know, like being with her uncle. Yeah. So. Yeah, oh, Monitor yes. doesn't have a cutie mark, but she's not part of the Crusaders either. Yes, Monitor and Zenkarn don't aren't aware of what's going on. Javolt does see that Cup of Sunshine is with the three kids. Yes, did I? Uh, yeah. yes. Oh, well, well, she nipped that in the bud, and Javolt will look back at <laughs> the front. What was? I didn't catch that. She's uh, Javolt's like, oh, good, she's on top of that, and then he looks away. <laughs> <laughs> and when he looks back. Well, it's no. Horrific. All right. No. So, um, Kappa, <laughs> Kappa is going to place a hoof on um, Pop Rock's head, basically turn it so that he's facing her and go, "You have not broken me. Don't go getting an ego about this." <sighs> what I just want- ego? I don't have an ego. I just have an ego. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. Those waivers don't cover everything. And I'd rather not lose my job because some <sighs> some poles decided to go off on their own and cause some more trouble. Yay us! Yay the <sighs> waivers your dad signed. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. my dad didn't With sign that... the waivers. He said they were hogwash. <laughs> <laughs> they were a requisite, so it must have been Blinky then. <laughs> yeah. And with that, my mom is uh, sensible. With that, um, she will turn, ba- uh, Kappa will turn back, uh, get to the front of the group and just go, those three in the back seem to need to use the bathroom. I'm going to take them to the staff room where they can, uh, pee. Th- hey. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say powder their nose, but then <laughs> that didn't work. So. All right. Anyways. Yes. Um, so a couple yes. will let the other adults know that before. Going back and following the CMC to the staff room. Okay, so those and, four uh, head off, rolling head insight. Off. That he doesn't have any insight. He's just rolling a straight twenty for insight. He has <laughs> zero insight. Can everyone yeah. roll insight? <laughs> Zenkarn would be the uh, the other chaperone. No, it's fine because I'm just gonna not one again. <laughs> and now Monitor is rolling insight. She actually has a number in there. Hang on, what is my insight? Is it 15? Yes, it is 15. This is not, Actually, these are not good rolls. No, they are not. We are having that kind of day. It is. It is See, the question thing. is, am I trying to detect your lying or am I trying to detect your emotional state? Javolt, what are you trying to detect? Javolt tried to figure out her intent. Whether, <laughs> yeah, oh. her intent. Oh, yeah. I don't get a natural 20. I can't just 20 for that. That's annoying. Well, Javolt, Javolt, Completely takes what Kappa says at face value entirely. Um, monitor has, or monitor has a has a has a gut feeling that not everything as it appears, but um, that's all it is a gut feeling. Agent, um, Agent Zenkarn. No, no, sorry, <laughs> literary Agent Zenkarn. <laughs> yes, Zenkarn. Um, you can you can tell that she is. Up, she is up to something. You wait. You said get. Wait, what were you saying? You were rolling for? No, no. Um, yeah, just to see how um accurate the statement was. You can you can tell she's up to something. Hmm. Eh, she's a teacher. She knows what she's doing. So now, how do how do Sweet Cake and I get basically over to them now? Now that we've okay dashed well, into the gazebos. Those... Those four are headed up that direction. We have um, the rest of the group that is still heading up front. And then we have, at the gazebo range, we have those two with Dundee. And then um, the zebra and the two ponies that were at the um, at the, the building before have arrived at the gazebo range. And all... And the two, the two ponies are on the outside side um kind of as guards are watching dundee and um the zebra enter the gazebo range both to try and and they are coming over to where um aurelia and um 
uh, sweet cake are. Aurelia okay. Aurelia looks to uh, sweet cake and says, "So, uh, what's step two of this marvelous plan?" All right, kids, you really should not be in here. But as long as you are, and you said you saw those jackalopes, where are they? Um, sweet cake makes a show of looking around, uh, flying around the gazebos, and just kind of searching high and low, and looking incredibly confused. I don't. I saw it. I I I, I could have sworn I saw it. You saw it. You saw it too, right, Aurelia? Yeah, I, 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 thought, I can't see where it's gone. I don't know. It looked like they were like the gazebos were eating them or something. It was really weird how they just kind of went inside and then kind is, of disappeared. Um, is there what would what what's the the role you need to make for um for checking for lying like, lying? inside <laughs> for no for deception, deception? to try and oh, see that's there's no. There's no. Would that also be in sight? No, no, no. There's no. There's no roles for diplomacy or deception or, or persuasion or deception in this system. What you say determines the DC at DM discretion. Yeah, that's how this. That's how diplomacy role, works. Role playing, that's how role playing is determined by role playing. <laughs> yep. Okay. So let's see. Um. There's no more. Straight, oh, 20, really? Roll that twenty, 20 persuasion and get what you want. Yeah, now it's like, oh, really? No, I have a knife. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, Dundee is going to turn to the gazebos, and he is going to ask if they have seen the, if they have seen any small rabbit-like creatures running around. The gazebo, and from what um, Sweet Cake hears, he can hear, she hears the gazebos say that they have no idea what Dundee is talking about. All right, kids. Did you really see the? Did you really see any jackalopes running around in here? Well, I don't know now. I thought I did. Come to think right. of it, I don't know what jackalopes look like. <laughs> yeah, it's they. They look like jacks with lopes, right? Yeah. All right, kids, both of both of you come down here and let's get you with the rest of the group. All right. All right. Okay. All right. That's that's good. That's good, kids. Don't stop talking. Yes. And, and some uh, good kids right there, yeah. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Maybe um, then, um, yes, Dundee will lead, will try to lead both, um, Sweet Cake and Aurelia out while, um, the zebra will do a check on the gazebos before he follows. So, yes. Out of the corner of her, out of the side of her mouth, she just kind of mur- mutters to Aurelia. Just wait for them to not be paying attention anymore. <laughs> I, well, duh. Okay, then. Um, once once all of them are out of the gazebo range, um, Dundee will hand will turn to the two ponies. All right, Concord Wallace, could you see to these two kids getting back with their group out by the front? You you shouldn't be able to miss the group once you see them, and the uh, two. And the two ponies, which I know it's been a week, so it, one's the older white male unicorn. His name is Concord. Then Wallace is a young, is a you know light blue male earth pony. He's the younger of the two, and they both nod and um, they turn to Aurelia and Sweet Cake. Okay, let's go catch up with the others. Yep, and she kind of That's... heads off at a trot towards. Um... All right, now don't don't you go don't you go running off again. Just stay, just slow down, please. Well, Fine. Yes. yes. So those two will leave them off. All right. So let's go back to the the group of. Hey, uh, I, actually, I just want to say something. Aurelia says, "I'm curious between the two of you, which is the better sort of zookeeper slash, you know, animal scientist." Well. None of us are really, neither of us are really, uh, scientists. We just work here as security guards. Really? Seems like such a waste of town. Surely you have passion for this sort of thing. Well, for being a security guard, yeah. Really? That is, um, important. And, and yes. this for the two of you, is, uh, do you have a, do you have a good working relationship here? I'd say so. And, um, Wallace nods. So, uh, whose fault is it that the jackalopes got out? Yeah. Well, that remains a mystery for the time being. Well, 
that's right on our list of things to do. Well, I mean, surely, Once, surely yeah. some ponies, you know, pointing hooves at this point, right? I mean, I've heard, I've heard some of some other ponies talking. And what ponies would you have heard talking? Well, maybe one of you when the other pony wasn't listening. <laughs> Concord is gonna look to <laughs> Walt. Uh, make a uh, what is? Let's see, um, do you are you? Um, by this point, it's pretty obvious what I'm trying to do. Yes, I, I mean, <laughs> sweet cake likes the way you think. <laughs> All it, well, it's were these? Did you have you been near these kids before we came over here? I don't seem to. I, I mean, I just saw the group when we were at the 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 Jackalope Building. Yeah, well, that, then when that that might have been when I heard it. Yeah. What, I, how come I didn't hear it then? Well, your your hearing hasn't. I mean, you're. I mean, you are getting up there in years. I mean, you're not old. <laughs> well, it sounds like you kind of called me old, Sonny. <laughs> no, I didn't. I stealth I didn't. check. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what in the world is this malarkey? Um, one of us roll above a six. Uh, can I just check my character sheet and see if there's anything I can do? Cutie oh. marker saters. Oh, 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 I have something. I have something. You sound uh, too excited. No, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm kidding. Just as a quick thing. Um, mm. Okay, so I, I'm guessing that as Aurelia and Sweetcake try to sneak away, they don't do so good. Well, you know, it's, 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 Good enough that I will give you a chance to, I will give you a chance to do something to try and take a second shot. Um, she, she starts, okay, so Sweetcake starts, but she instantly stumbles, gets the feeling that she's gonna attract more attention, and immediately tell, sort of, gets Scree out and says, Scree, distraction, and sends Scree to scramble up the leg of Concord. Hey, what, hey, what are you doing, you little, what are you doing, you little critter? Hey, why, why is that? Hey, get off him! What are you doing? What is what is with the animal attacking? Scree um, runs up onto Concord's head, then bounces onto um, sorry, I've forgotten his name. The other pony's head as well, and the runs old, on his back. The older one is Concord. The the older one is a unicorn named Concord. The younger one is an Earth pony named Wallace. Okay, so now uh, Scree is on Wallace's back and just kind of running around, making a nuisance of herself. Do you have okay, Concord is going to try and get is going to try and grab um he's gonna try and focus on grabbing Scree with his um telekinesis, his unicorn grip. Can I use Scree's dexterity to evade? I will let you attempt to do that. Okay. Seeing as he is running all over the two. Does this Gee, does this yes. give us another chance to sneak away? I will let you do that after I will let you I let's see. Um Seventeen? Can it's, I hero point that? <laughs> or can I only hero point myself, actually? I don't know. How do, how, I don't know the specifics. You can still how, share a hero point. I'm going to hero point my squirrel, so she gets a <laughs> 27. <laughs> that is the best sentence of all. Okay, yes. Um, squir- yes, Scree is dexterous and agile enough that as um, Concord tries to grab Scree, he accidentally keeps grabbing Wallace or himself. <laughs> and I will let the two of you make another stealth check. Woo! Oh, for Pete's sake. Are we really bad at this? Oh my god, we, we are, are so, we are so, so bad at terrible. this. You know what? Screw it. Flotsam, <laughs> I mean sweet cake is just gonna fly for it. The two the two here, I'm going to I'm going to do a perception a, a perception counter check. Okay. So terribly. Roll just as terribly. Roll just as terribly. Watch as the GM just gets all the natural 20s. <laughs> all the nat 20s. All to himself. Nat 1 all the time. Ah! Hey! That... Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We still have to hear from Wallace. Hill nat 1 out of spite. Wall- Wallace, the old pony. Ah. Uh, who still rolls surprisingly well. Wall- Actually, yes. Wall- Wall- no, Wallace Wall- is the younger one. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Wallace will he's, notice but these incredibly too, distinct but NPCs. He's, yes, yes. Wallace will notice, but um, the whole but Concord trying to grab Scree 
and Concord not seeing you will distract Wallace from being able to actually follow. Wallace says, look, wait, the kids are, hey, hey, no, not the tie. Don't grab the tie. I get, I'm trying to grab the squirrel. Just stay. Don't be so squirrely. Stay put. I'm trying to grab the squirrel. <laughs> I'm trying. Yes. I love this. This is the That's best. Bad. That's fantastically bad. We just need some Benny Hill theme. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't know why that popped into my head, but it did. Yes, so the two of you do manage to escape as the two guards. That was unnecessarily complicated. Don't care, it was fun. Especially Java arguing with himself. That was fantastic. Um, at, at the early, con- as as soon as Scree sees that um, they've gotten out of sight, she will basically scramble up the nearest tree, out of sight. And um, Concord will try and chase after to try and catch the squirrel. She has oh, oh. Um, spider climb, so she can adhere well, to surfaces. I, for the no, purposes Wallace, of the no, Scree will get away, but Wallace is going to chase after. Going to chase maybe, after. Maybe, maybe we can just say that that uh, yeah. that. <laughs> That yes, chase so. goes on off screen. Oh, yes. So anyway, get back here, squirrel. Yes. Anyway, back to the group of four, Cup of Sunshine's little group, with Pop Rocks and Golden Crown, and them. How so long do you I think take it'll it take? I take it we're yeah. waiting for your ringleaders now. Ringleaders. Uh, ringleaders. Come on, we have some individuality. Yes. You are. Yes. You are all. Um outside the staff building right now. Kappa is just going to look down at him and go, so does the circus. That's why I use the ringleader, the ringleader joke. Ow, is that a burn? Oh. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to do that, teacher. <laughs> and I don't think you're allowed to be out here doing this, but I'm letting it happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ooh, touche, touche. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna need to get, we're gonna need to pay a trip to the medical, to the medical building for that. Burn. I've never seen this side of you, teacher. Sassy. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long day. They don't serve coffee here. And I'm getting very fun flashbacks to my graduate school years. So let's try to make this quick. <laughs> okay. So where do we want to look for the jackalopes first? Kappa is just going to back off and go, not my circus, not my monkeys. <laughs> That's the same ever. Nice. Nice segue in there. All right. Well, Can we say well. that uh, Sweetcake and Aurelia joined the party? Yes. As the group is trying to imagine <laughs> where to search, the two, yes, um, Sweetcake and Aurelia will arrive as they are busy discussing and thinking where can they search. And oh, hey, so we were do... trying to figure out where to search for the jackalopes. And so do Javolt and Monitor, because all the other kids are outside now. Can we say that? I, 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 didn't, I, I, I assumed we didn't move. <laughs> well, yes, the group... I mean, if you if you want to, I will allow um, you to get... I'm, I'm imagining I will allow um, Javolt to have um, moved away, though that does leave the responsibility on Zenkarn. Well, I'm, I'm just saying all the kids are out of the zoo now, is what I'm saying. No, they, they weren't. Because... They weren't escorted outside the zoo. They were taken to the 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 gift shop slash museum of rare friendships. Yeah, oh, so, right. so, that, so, so that they could be. Just that and the other NPC adults. All right. Javon and monitor walk up and say, and Javon monitor walk up and monitor just sort of gives the crusaders. A look. And Javolt says, Why are we here? Why are you uh, we here? know why we're here, but we don't know why you're here. I'm just here because Monitor said we should be here. And Monitor just gives the Crusaders a look again. Hey, don't look at me. This was their idea. Come on, Monitor. You're supposed to be cool. Yeah, don't narc on us. You mean a narc? I don't even know what a narc is, but don't be one. It's bad. I think. <laughs> Cup is just going to stand there and cough. <laughs> Whatever. We don't have a whole lot of time either way. Monitor just. Monitor. Uh, she says, I have medical training. That's actually a good idea. That's actually a good point. 
Yeah, we're not going to get injured. We only get injured like medical training sounds good. I want to get I want to get Zenkarn in on this somehow, but <laughs> is is Zenkarn the just... only player character who's went where the people were supposed to be going? I don't no, know. Javolt he's, went he's there, made sure or... everyone was settled in, oh. and then left. So, so Javolt well, actually I mean, made in, it. He I mean, just didn't in, stay there. I mean, in character is is um is Zenkarn the only one who went up Zen, to the Zen, front? Zen, Zenkarn's the only one unaccounted for in this right now. Sorry, so he is, to to the so, so Zenkarn uh, is the only one who's with the kids at the um who's up front. front, and he's AFK yeah, at the moment. But, yeah. No, no, yeah, I'm back. Okay. Was um, there, but well, I probably would have dropped them off and come back for her earlier. <laughs> but yeah, but you. So now Zenkarn, Zenkarn is up. the old, Zenkarn is the only. I mean, to my as far as I'm aware, Zenkarn is the only adult with those kids. So if he goes, there are now, adults there are, in the gift shop. The, I, I don't know other NPC adults. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if there, if there aren't, then yeah, I'll stay with the kids. But if there are, then I'll come back. There should be, because it'd be annoying to not have Zenkarn, or the rest of us get to have this adventure. Well, I mean, I'm I'm cool with that. I, I I don't mind either way. It depends how you want to run it, Joel. I I am flexible. <laughs> this probably isn't gonna come as a surprise, but I hadn't thought that I hadn't thought that that far through. Look, easiest way of doing this. Actually, no. I've got the best way of doing this. I literally just drop all the kids onto the cashier, cashier and leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's their job now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you leave. You I'm leave. a responsible adult. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you. Yeah, that you poor leave. cashier. As if that job wasn't hard. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, oh. I'm feeling kind of sorry for her now. Yeah. I I feel uh, great uh, considering how many parents have done this to me. <laughs> this feels fantastic. <laughs> this is, uh, vengeance is mine. I, know, I I guess I I hadn't thought about there being other adults since there weren't any mentioned last week aside from the player it's, character. It's adult. safe to assume in a business zone there will be miscellaneous NPCs. Well, class, I mean, I suppose there, I suppose there are. are going to get all the chaperones they can at the museum and gift shop. So, but they're kind of they're kind of aghast. They're kind of stammering, trying to figure out the situation as Zankar drops them off and leaves them. What, but it's like. There's the cashier. That's your new friend. Have fun. <laughs> Zenkarn, not the most responsible adult in the history of Equestria. Look, I'm being responsible by not keeping them near me. <laughs> that is that is a surprisingly valid argument. Only if you know Zenkarn, but yes. Uh, yeah, the, yes, before you exit the building, you hear him say, Security! Security, please! <laughs> okay. Yes. So eventually Zenkarn strolls up on the scene with the rest of us. Yes. The party so is assembled. Makes... Yes, everyone is um yes, everyone is um outside the staff building. Oh yep. well Zenkarn, nice of you to join us. Did eh. you put the other kids on the buses like we talked about? Um The buses yes? were, the, the buses weren't I'm gonna go with yes. The buses weren't scheduled to arrive yet though. No, it's fine. The answer is yes. Don't ask questions. <laughs> Let's just say we put them on a bus. It may not be <laughs> the right bus, but they're on it, a it's bus. A, it's a metaphorical bus. Look, there was a guy with a van who said he'd take care of them. <laughs> oh, that's not my problem. All right, now I know you're lying, but... <laughs> that is the worst possible and yet the best possible answer. Aurelia, you Aurelia turns to Javolt and says, nah, knowing Zenkarn, he probably just dropped him off with the cashier in the gift shop and just walked out. Okay, yes. Uh, that Javolt actually nods at that and says, well, they usually have to deal with a lot of children begging for presents. I'm pretty sure they have it handled. We'll go back. We are... They'll probably all have, like, stuffed bears or something. It'll be fine. Ugh. I'd, 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 how does, I'd say we're being mean to people in retail, but most of us have been there. How does Kappa react to all this? Probably ignoring most of it. <laughs> I didn't hear it. it. It didn't happen. So Kappa, still not broken yet? <sighs> nope. Nope. So, nope, anyway, nope, we're nope. hunting dangerous creatures. Yeah, let's, let's... I'll break you. This took way too long to set up and do. Let's actually go hunt these things down. 
And all of a sudden, dangerous creature arrives. I will leave a child who makes you retire. <laughs> oh god, don't be that kid. Yeah, don't don't be that kid. I was I, I'm not actually saying this. I was joking. <laughs> so yes, your group is assembled. You now need to what? go. Yes, to go search for these creatures that are somewhere hidden in the zoo. Maybe, okay, we go searching. Maybe we we start from where they were supposed to be set up and look for clues. We set the thing on you, fire and hope that draws them out. Maybe see. Codeman's not here. One of us has to take up the slack. <laughs> Codeman's supposed to not be the pyromaniac, though. He's supposed to be like, you know, someone who used to be. Well, you know what? Me and you can have our different interpretations. <laughs> Firelight is a complex character that has multiple <laughs> interpretations, clearly. Obviously. I believe it. Seriously, though, getting on to the investigation Punching track. things. Or that. Find the thing that gives way to progress and punch it, yeah. You can, yes, you can take any that, you can go back to the place, you can, you can look for clues, you can try and think where would it hide, any of those options. I say, we split up. And search the whole zoo. We just got ourselves together. Let's at least, you know, try and stick together, shall we? It's not a horror movie. It's not a bad idea. Look, zookeeper, first question. What do they eat? Because they'll probably go for that first. The the zookeeper is not with you right now. Dundee is off conducting his own search with the expectation that you are off. Well, whoever the smartest person he is. Uh, Devolt raises a hoof. Yes. That isn't Javol or one of the children. No. So that would what? be uh, Kappa. <laughs> Does d- okay? I guess Kappa might keep up with you know newly discovered species of animals. So should I roll general knowledge? You are free to roll general knowledge if you'd like. I will. Oh, yeah, roll I totally general forgot that was knowledge. a skill. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering we might come up. General knowledge to figure out what animals eat. <laughs> I rolled a nap one. I yes. rolled a 28. I'm pretty What's sure they eat pony. They're attacked with lopes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cup of Sunshine has absolutely no... Is She's pretty sure she's heard about the very deadly jackalopes, but, she, but she's pretty sure she heard about them in a work of fiction, so... She doesn't trust anything she knows about them. Exactly. Um, Reasonable. Yes. Uh, Javolt, um... <sighs> coffee in her in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, not my precious coffee. I, oh, my, uh... What's happening? Safe, safe falls. Add some extra drama. Uh, yeah, I, I am... This is, yes, my, my... Care to finish that sentence? Um, my 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 skills as a would be DM are DM are failing me right now. Just Google, just Google the first thing that comes to mind and hope it uh, hope it uh, helps. Okay. Um, you you would be surprised at how often that helps. Jackalopes are based on rabbits. Yes. Look up uh, what yes rabbits um, they okay. You you're aware that um the okay, Javold is aware that um these that these kinds of jackalope. Um, they like, they like to eat, they like to feed off electricity, and, um... <laughs> that is and, hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> and they, part of that allows them to, um, help create artificial weather, notably thunderstorms, which are in turn used as, are an important part of their breeding process. Jackalopes are electric <laughs> elementals? That's amazing! Well, this particular is species that. is. I like Javolt, it. Javolt but is beginning to suspect that the very deadly jackalope is not actually part of the jackalope family. Jackalopes eat carrots, they, roots. They and are. Metal. They are. They are. A, <laughs> they are. Well, they are officially a a variation of jackalope. They do. They are part of the same. Jawa, do you know what a jackalope is? Congratulations, I, uh, don't, don't, Jawa! Don't, you've don't, driven like tennis to drink. <laughs> I I am familiar with the of what a, with the idea of the jackalope. Yes, could be us. It could be Wuffle Teams. So, air jackalopes that eat storms, storms basically. 
They are basically Waffle Singers at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, my true. understanding was part of the original myth was that, you know, thunderstorms were were part of the, like, they bred with in thunderstorms. Yeah. Um, that's, I mean, it's no worse. Wouldn't than, surprise me. Wouldn't, it's no worse than any other mythical creature appropriation in the show. Right. Eh, I'm, sure. I'm totally on board with this. So that's, you're, that's so you are, too awesome. so, so based on that, you're inclined to think that from what was said before, that they are trying to get out of the zoo. So, because if, and if they do, that'd be bad for Manhattan because then they'd be inclined to eat from the Manhattan power supply. And then they'd be free to create thunderstorms over Manhattan when they felt like. And basically it would, um, especially once there are more of them, there, um, that would be, that would kind of turn Manhattan to do a station of lightning rabbits. This so it, is amazing. Yeah, no, yeah, but a hundred thousand actually... times worse. This is how yeah. Australia begins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're trying to get out. That tells us nothing about where well, they might be. No, it tells them that they're, they're probably going to go to the nearest power source to feed the generator. The zoo generator. I'd believe it. Where would that be, though? Not. It's not really on the map. Emergency management, administrative towards the front, but that's not where you'd really put a put a power station, not up front. It would be near the center of the zoo. Or and towards the back. There is an unmarked building towards the very back. I was going to suggest the train station, actually. You think there might be a... Oh, that's actually not a bad idea either, to power that rail. There might be a decent connection there, too. Well, I mean, we're at the gazebo right now. Uh, at the staff building right now, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the train station's pretty close. We may we may as well just go and check it. Well, I mean, yeah, we, all right. we, we were we were right next to it when we were at the gazebo range. We would have seen something if they were there, unless they're tiny. That's true. And it's not like we're exactly paying. Yeah, but but what about this? What about this building towards the top of the map that isn't marked? That's like right, uh, right up against the wall. Oh, the one near the right next to the, to the dwarf tassel worm enclosure. Quite possibly. Hmm. Maybe that's a maintenance I'd... building. That's where they keep the generator. And and look, it's. I mean, basically, if they left and went, you know, to the, nor- the northeast, it, that's basically a straight shot to that building. That is true. Eh, sure. Why not? Yay! I did. I, I deduced a smart thing. You're still not getting a raise. All right. <laughs> so is the is the group all headed up towards that northern building? So what do you guys think? You you want to head that way? I have no better ideas, so up north yeah. And we swing by the train station. What? It'll take longer though. Well, she takes uh, off and takes off flying, so she can get um a bird's eye view while she's staying with them. Right. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, we're 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 close to the train station. Do we see anything in that direction? Well, is I mean, is is Sweet Cake doing that flying thing? Yeah. Um, how much are I mean, what kind of um aerial view are you doing? Bird's eye. Okay, um, make a perception uh, check. Is this both of us? Well, I'm, I'm um, not flying at the moment, so... Yeah, oh, so just, just me, then? I can... Yeah, just you. I can get up there, though. Unnatural 20. Yeah, yeah, decent roll. What? Those exist? Yeah, it's amazing. And it's not Javolt. Fudge. <laughs> what was... Were you making a roll for Aurelia as well? Uh, sure, I'll get up there as well. Blah, blah, blah. I, was, I was just saying. Holy crap! Shoot! Okay. Um, okay. Yes. Sweet Cake doesn't see anything, but Aurelia, you happen to notice something, you ha- oh, happen to notice something by a, something by the secondary slash emergency exit. Oh. So they really are just gunning for the doors, aren't they? Oh. Um, shoot, just a moment. Oh yeah, we totally could. See. Oh, okay. Oh, um, wow. you see a single, you see a single, you see a single small furry creature with antlers by that exit, and it seems to be, as far as you can tell, it seems to be looking to see if there's a way through the door. Oh, I think I see one. It's over by the emergency exit, like right over there. Perk it, perk it with a stick. <laughs> she says as she's hovering way above the party. So yeah, let's go get it. It's at least one. And how many were there? Three? Three. Three. All right, that's one out of three. Let's go. Uh, Sweet Cake dives for it. 
I guess we start heading over in that direction. You're trying to we need... dive bomb to catch it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just, just right. try and rush it and grab it, yeah. Um Acrobatics maybe? Um Um either that or dexterity. Uh ac- acrobatics and dex are the same for me. Oh, well, either way. Wow, I've got no not a whole lot of good uh physical skills actually. Yeah, I'm an office worker through and through. Um, Sorry, what what are we rolling here? We found one of the jackalopes and near near one of the exits trying to figure out a way out. So are you making any attempt? Trying, but you're not it. making any attempt to be stealthy about this at all, are you? That's actually a good idea. Uh, now that you, you might want to grab Sweet Cake before she dives. Then oh, uh, Sweet Cake, wait, wait, now wait. Are, did, you, did you? Well, did you? Okay. Sweet cake. Unless you, uh, uh. I, well, I, I mean, kind of, I'm kind of iffy. Cons- I mean, considering what? I mean, what's what's your ruling well, on this? But um, what's your ruling? I don't know what. It- uh, I suppose I did already roll to dive at the right. thing. No one stopped me when I said I was going to do it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, I'm asking in response to your attempt to grab it. You made to clarify. You made no attempt to be stealthy about your attempt to grab it. Not really. No. no. Okay. Yeah, the um the jackalope sees you coming and easily jumps out of the way. Do the rest of us arrive and can we all just try and grab it? Um well, she flew over the Everfree Gardens. The rest of you, I mean aside from Aurelia, the rest of you have to run around. I mean Aurelia can make an attempt to grab it. The rest will have to haven't gotten there quite yet. I don't trust my particular skills, so I what I want to do mainly is just kind of hover in place, so and try and like kind of, mock kind, of, kind of play defense, basically. <laughs> Rather, okay. keep it, try um, and keep it caged in one spot, so that someone else with a bit more dexterity or whatever can grab it. Um. So when it okay. when it tries to move, I move in front of it, so that okay. yeah. make an make an acrobatics roll, uh, an acrobatics yeah, check. It comes down to the dice still. Oh, I need to actually put in a code in front of that. Nah, it's fine. Hey, that's not terrible. Okay. Um. Yep, it manages to. It manages to. Um, you try and sidestep. It sidesteps. You try. Aurelia tries to sidestep the other way. Then it fakes and slips. Past just under, just past your arms. God. Yeah. Okay. So and, this is not going to be easy. And it runs, and it runs up. Um, it runs northward, not on the path, but by the river, heading towards the bridge. And as it heads that direction, it looks over its shoulder and gives you the raspberry. <laughs> okay. So not only does it eat lightning, it's a shit. Fantastic. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're not dealing with jackalopes. We're dealing with assholes. Yeah. Sweet. Time to shine. All right. We so gotta, it's we got to work right together the, on this. Nah. Which direction was the group trying to head around the gardens? I um, shortest path would be around the top and left and down. All right. Well, if you're heading the north way, the rest of the group, as they're coming past, it sees it heading towards the bridge and heading in that direction. All of you work together to catch it. Well, I mean, I do have haste. Me too. So I also have like five acrobatics, so I have full might. You can cast haste on someone else. Remember, not on, not in Wonderlust. You can't. God yeah, damn it! This version of haste. Is um just it's just an automatic plus five and it's infinite. Well, might as well give it a shot. You might roll high, and then there's Kappa. And if you all work together, that circumstantially should contribute to higher success. Mm. Yeah, like if you make a perimeter or a circle around, try and catch it from different directions, like Flotsam didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, just keep repeating the same mistakes. Eventually, life will just relent and allow you to do it. All right. No, that sounds precisely. like a terrible plan. Try, it's currently headed towards the bridge. All of you can see it headed. Ex- can see exactly where it's headed. I rolled a twenty-seven. <laughs> to running at the rabbit. To follow after it. Yes. Okay. Other people need to go around and get it from the sides. All right. So, 
are are you just eh, chasing? That's not terrible. If Kappa goes one way, I'll go the other. Okay, so are you both? Are is this just running to catch up with it? Or trying to grab it, I would think. Yeah, running to catch it and grab it, like reach okay. it and grab it. Um. All right, then let's see. Um, for it trying to evade and keep running. Um. Oh, I just realized I did that. Okay, then um, between the two of you, you are able to. You are able. To, it it tries to it tries to stop and cause you to overshoot it and jump over, but um, the two of you are over are able to outmaneuver it, and as it tries to slip away, you manage to grab onto its antlers. Okay. So yes, you. T- um. Um. Yes. Um. Kappa currently has a hold of it. All right. Kappa is trying. <laughs> this is just a per like a personal thing. Since since she heard you know a- about the electricity and whatnot, Kappa's ver- trying very hard to make sure that there's not like a full circuit between her and the jackalope. It is. It is mostly. You're not seeing any signs of it creating a, an electrical surge or anything like that you just see it trying to try to wiggle its way out of out of Kappa's grip all right that is an interesting sound oh, i'm accepting that my head cannon nope i'm not <laughs> that is a weird sound for any living creature to make even a human it being it's lightning it's great <laughs> So, um, now that we've got it, what do we do with it? Uh, find one of the staff and put it in a cage. Maybe both, in either order. Um, eh, I have a let's feed question. It you <laughs> may, um, may, uh, may Sweet Cake catch up with, um, yes, with the, the and Yes, they, the two of them have it. Unless they're going anywhere, the rest of the group is soon able to catch up with it. You know, just at the edge of the water... By you know, just on the bridge, just by the edge of the water, the rest everyone is able to group up there. And yes, Kappa, yes. So Kappa is is holding on to the rabbit, who is still trying to wiggle his way for it. E. Um, Sweet Cake will kind of flutter over and wave at her finger. Hey, McJackalope, where are your friends? The jackalope will um look at Sweet Cake. And, um... Whoa, a talking pony. (laughs) (laughs) And will... Its eyes will... His eyes will kind of dart back and forth. Then glance at Sweet Cake. Um, and then glance around. But you're getting the impression he's not getting the idea to actually say anything. You can tell me. I can understand you. He glances at you and kind of... And, um... From what you can tell, he understands the fact that you can, um, you can understand, you can talk to him, but that's not the reason he's not telling you. Aurelia just, she can't understand the animal, but she just kind of smirks down at the jackalope and says, All right, now, don't turn this into an interrogation. Trust me, you don't want that. Now, I'm just curious as to why you're not telling us where they are, given that one of them told us where you were going to be. <laughs> The um, jackalope will um, here. Let's uh, let's see. I'm gonna do a roll for that. Why are we the best at prisoners, Delano? <laughs> <laughs> Cutie mark crusaders interrogators go <laughs> because we're PCs. Darn straight. <laughs> wait, wait. What? When? When? Where are they? What did they tell? What did they? What did they say? They said we could catch you easy because you were the slowest. Why would they sell me out? It would, I don't it would, know, you it, tell me. It would increase their chances. But we're all supposed to get out together. Why'd you want to get out anyway? Well, duh. Have you seen the city out there? Is it because it's full of power? Mmm, power. But I you get fed power it. here, don't you? But it's, it's not raw power. It's And there's a certain joy to, you know, hunting it. It's not much of a hunt in a big old city. It's just... Out everywhere on display. Well, I can see you see the door of little rabbits just sneaking off a little unsuspecting mouse-shaped lightning bolts. It's amazing. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, totally sold you out. Aurelia says, not even really understanding the conversation, just following <laughs> Sweet Cake's part of it, and just playing along. Yeah. You you can see him glance. You can see um him glancing in the direct. He can, and it's not even where he's he's telling you, but you can see. Like, Sub- well, subconsciously, or, he's looking in certain directions. Yeah. yeah. Um, make a um, which would it be, perception or insight? Um, I think insight. Yeah, insight might work. Yeah, make that an works um, wonderfully whoever, for me. That's my special skill. <laughs> whoever wants, uh, yeah, make an insight roll. I imagine that. Given that Kappa is holding this rabbit, it's not as easy for her to see this, so I'll hold out yeah, this roll. 23. Yes. You can um, tell based on where he's glancing that, um, odd, that he, you can tell he's glancing um, in, the, in the general direction of the um, back of the zoo, w- near in the general direction of the unnamed building. <laughs> I had what? it right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> is that sorry? Is that the unnamed one next to the dwarf yep. capsule worm? Yep. Yes, that one. Woo. And she just shrugs um, and goes, "Oh well, if you're not going to help us, I guess uh, these two will just get you back to one of the keepers then." Oh, you're going to take me back to the keepers anyway? Yeah, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> um, sweet cake kind of um glances at. Uh, Kappa and Zenkarn and says well I got some I've talked to him a bit I think we have maybe an idea of where to go next well then I suppose I will see if I can uh, get this one taken to a keeper for now I suppose I'll where where shall I meet you she kind of glances at the at the jackalope and then back and is like the building next to where the dwarf tassel one is Kappa will just nod and then uh, start trotting off in uh, probably clo- like the direction towards the front to see if she can find a uh, zookeeper. All right, and the and as you're carrying along the jackalope, he'll be kind of you know kind of sitting there with his arms crossed in front of him as he's being carried. <laughs> Rump. All right, so the rest mm-hmm. of us we head towards that uh, maintenance building in the back. Yes, you can head that direction. All right, march. Forced march. Everybody go. Let's go. Hey, should we be sneaky this time? Uh, uh, I don't know. Not until we get there. Sure. But yeah, maybe a little sneakier, because, I mean, if there's two more, then we're going to want to get the jump on both of them. (laughs) Heh heh, jump, because they're like rabbits. Uh, I'm not in the mood for puns today. Yeah, you said it, not me. I, Puns are great. But I, Come on! But it wasn't intentional, so it doesn't count. It does you keep count. Keep telling yourself that. I will. All right. So you come to that building, which is a taller building, and first you come to the two, those two black marks. Those are basically gating off the pathway, saying n- that there, you're basically no admittance to people who don't work there, telling you you um, yep, employees only. Are there any distinct holes in that fencing? Well, there. I mean, the one connects to the um, connects between that and the dwarf castle worm building. The other one, um, for the most part, you can just walk around it. Oh, so it's it's a fence under construction. Then. No, it's more just a um, just a an expectation that you're not going to go walking around and trying to break into the building or. No wonder they lost these things. This zoo has terrible security. Yeah, that's awfully trusting if you're going to only put up one section of a wall, of, of one wall of a fence. Well, I mean, you do have to climb down a little, but I mean, it, but yeah, you do have to climb down a little and climb up. But the other door, that's definitely locked. You can see easily on the outside that it's locked. Okay, well, then we head the, the least secure way. All right. Um, make a perception check. Perception checks all around. Let's do it. Uh, I got a 27. I got a natural one. Oh, hey, it's a building. That's a building, <laughs> all right. How do I, how oh do my I, god, it's giant Zebo. How do I get around this fence? How do I do it? This is, uh, this is ridiculous. Was I waiting for any more perception rolls, or was that it? It just keeps going. 
<laughs> okay. Um, was was it, were we gonna get one from Javolt or no? Master Weaver's catatonic. Okay. Well. Um. Yes. Um. Sweet cake. She notices in a window above the door that there is a furry little figure, much like the one you already caught, but with um smaller, um smaller horns. And it notices you. It hops a little and then disappears. Oh. Um, sweet cake says in a hushed tone to the others, "Hey, I saw one just there. It noticed me and hopped off." Oh shoot! We gotta catch it. Oh, that's a big old building. And do we even have the keys for it? Of course we don't. Cutie Mark Crusader lock pickers. Any? I can try. Well, first let's make sure it's actually locked. And or... hold on. Hold on, hold on, come on. No, I got this, I got this. I really okay. goes to actually test the door. The door is, in fact, locked. Oh. Okay. Well, well I was, I'm I was hoping that would be a funny check, thing right? where the door was already unlocked, but... Okay, well, if you want to try and pick the lock, uh, make a dexterity check. All right. Oh, and I will roll a two. <laughs> you failed to pick the lock. I have rolled twice tonight, yes. and one was a two, the yes, other you, was you, a one. This you, is... you look... Yes, See, pop, you're getting better as time goes on. Well, welcome pop to Bad Roll Central, pop, population pop rocks, six. Pop Rocks um, looks at the lock. He um, toys with it. He he acts for a moment like he knows exactly what he's doing, but um, it becomes p- clear pretty quickly that he has no idea how to how to pick this lock at all. Well, that was fun. A, 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 I thought for sure I knew it. Awesome. You want to? Go looking for like an open window. We can maybe sneak through. You mean sweet cake? And yes, yeah. muscle memory. Yeah, I know. Um, I can do it myself. Um, yeah, s- sweet cake will. Uh, she's gonna try and stay kind of close to the building so that she can't necessarily be seen from all the windows, and see if she can find a way in. Um, what part of the building are you checking? Part of the building we're in front of that that side. Yeah. Yes. Um, you check. Make maybe, a... maybe you check that side, and I'll check the side around the right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Both of you make perception checks. Oh boy. Twenty-six. Eighteen. Oh, you both. Okay. Um. Um. Aurelia doesn't notice anything offhand. Um, but, um, Sweet Cake, she notices what looks like part of a ventilation thing that has been popped open that leads into the building. Um, looking at it, how big is it? Who could fit in? Um, the kids could fit in easily. The adults, they'd have to, they'd have to squeeze in. Okay. Um, she'll go and wave to the others. I think I found where the jackalopes got in. I think we could fit in, too. Might be a bit of a squeeze for you adults, though. Um, she'll try and lead them to the open vent? Really? There's there's, there's an actual building with the big old vent system in it? That That's a thing that exists? She blinks. Well, I mean, don't, 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 don't ponies, like, make them smaller now because of security risks like this? Welcome to this zoo. I... You may not have noticed, but we have escapees on our hooves. That's true. Yeah, I, where's where's all the funding for your public works going? Anyway? Uh, something to ask my dad about. Oh, that's right. Your dad's really rich. I forgot, and also has mm-hmm. political influence. Whoops. Okay, so you're all going into the building. I guess. Yes. Okay. Um, while we're doing that, um, is there anything anything we need to check on with um, cup of sunshine or? Oh yeah, cup of went away. Well, cup of. I- I mean, just uh, whatever happened as far as, you know, dropping the jackalope off with one of the zookeepers. Where, um, yeah, uh, well, you go what direction? Towards the front oh, of the zoo. Yeah. As stated. Okay. Um, they, okay, you, you hand off to a um, zookeeper who asks where you found it. And, yeah. Kappa is merely going to... Uh, She's she's going to act a little bit like she has she is uh sort of panicking about the entire thing and go 
well, I, I was I was escorting my students to the bathroom uh, when this this thing ran by, and I I knew that you were all trying to go after it. So, uh, just despite the name, I went after it, and it didn't end up being too much of a problem. But I figured I should probably leave it in someone else's more capable hooves. And now, if you don't mind, I really need to go back and make sure that my students are okay. I told them just to wait, but you know how it is. All right, and uh, 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 it? um. Just gonna try and like force it off on the uh um on the zookeeper while running back the way if she the can. The zookeeper will take the animal, though um you will see a couple of security guards coming out of the building, um, Concord and Wallace, and they we have a we have a class in here that belongs to you and uh we have no idea where any of it where any, yeah, we're having kind of a problem in here. Um, you're supposed to be their teacher, right? Uh, she will look at them and go, Well, I imagine you're doing a great job, but there's a few more students I need to go grab. They're still waiting it for me at the restroom, and they're, you know, a little bit scared about this whole thing. So just make sure that my students are calm, and I'll be back in a few minutes. I I promise. Uh, Do they buy it? <laughs> uh, um, I don't see why they wouldn't. <laughs> what would... They will turn and start, um, well, uh, uh, um, they will, uh, yes, they will, um, they will begin debating whether, they will begin debating whether to buy it, which gives, which gives you a chance to sneak off. Okay. And, uh, with that, she will, couple will head towards the unmarked building. All right. So, yes, back inside the unmarked building, you will discover that it is a lot of things and including um storage um um maintenance um there's like animal food in here there's spare parts and supplies it's there are a lot of hiding places in this building so they got the funding for a giant brand new fancy aquarium but can't keep this building well hmm what do you mean uh the the fact the aquarium on the map looks way larger than, than this building. Ah, well, it's got, I mean, it's got, I mean, floor, I mean, it's got multiple stories more so than the aquarium. And I suppose. And unlike the aquarium, they can pack things together closer. So. All right. I was just trying to make it, fun of it. Thanks for oh, running on my okay. parade there. <laughs> Sorry. Eh, rain, I'm, because water, because aquarium. Huh. Okay, well, now huh. now I'm not so proud of my parade anymore. You can go ahead and rain on that all you like. Yay. Okay, so, um, yeah, when you enter, make a perception check. Again? Again. It's not just me who does perception checks. It's awesome. It's like, That's a we 17. have them all the time. I yes. cannot, it's one of my best skills and I cannot roll above an 8. 28. Okay, wow. Well, Sweet cake is getting good at noticing things now. I did get the one natural twenty, but um, is that all the rolls then? Yeah, there are other kids with us, aren't there? There's Monger and Pop Rock. Ah, uh, but maybe I guess maybe Sweet I got could covered. roll something. What What are we rolling? Perception. Oh yes. Sorry, I got distracted by something. Um, let's see. What do I have for that? Uh, not great. Uh, so let's roll it. Seventeen. All right. Um. Okay. I feel like there's supposed to be more rolls or something, but oh well. Um. Yeah. The um. The seventeens. You hear that there is some kind of noise. Um. Uh. Pa um. Sweet cake. You hear something coming from the back or the back slash northernmost part of the building, and it sounds kind of. It sounds kind of metallic. And, like, something's running around. Aurelia says, I'm gonna go find the front door and let the adults in so we've got more hooves to catch these things. Okay, I'm gonna keep an ear open for them. Yeah, you just try and hunt them down. Maybe don't startle them if we can help it. If we can trap them, all the better. I can hear them further up ahead. You got good ears. All right, I'm off. Yeah, I can hear them, too. And uh, I go try and find my way back to the front door. All right, that is not difficult to. Well, there's two doors. One that's one that's the um, 
The easternmore door, that's a smaller door designed for more just people to go in and out. The other one is a larger one that looks like, you know, you could have vehicles or carriages or what have you go in and out. No, it's a big old loading like a, bay. More like, well, a mini, a smaller loading bay. Yeah. Yeah. One truck's worth of loading. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I go to, that's, that's the side on which we left everyone else. So I go towards the door on that side and wave everybody inside. Well, that those doors are locked well, we the same way. Can't I? Isn't isn't there going to be a, a lock mechanism on the inside I can unlock? Um, or at I least, or at least that, can I open I, it from the inside and hold it open? I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, you can you can do that. Though, yeah, with the yeah, you're able to open the yeah, you open the larger door. Zenkar and Javolt, uh, Kappa, if you're out there, and yep, I'll duck in through. Yeah, Master Weaver's just passed out or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're really. It really. Hey, Weaver, you're not muted, are you? Might be a computer glitch. Maybe. Huh. All right. So. All right. So the other group that's taking a um a stealth check. That would be sweet cake and pop rock. Yeah. All right. I'll and do technically, that. um, technically, and technically, golden crown and mort, but I think we're just kind of and, assuming yeah. they're. Seventeen again. Mm, Eleven. Not so good on the stealth. Um. Yeah. I am going to just see if I can. Um. Um. Yeah. Actually, it's just. Um. Yeah. Um. Sweet cake. They do. Yeah. Okay. You try sneaking around. But then you hear the two, you hear the noise, you hear the noise, then stop for a moment, then you hear two sets of footprints scurrying, in, scurrying about. So was that success, failure? Was, that was, um, they heard something. Oh, I thought you were having us roll stealth. Well, then I made a, a perception check for the jackalopes. Mm. Oh, okay. oh, right, I see, I see. Um, um, so we hear that. I think they might be scurrying away from us. That's on Pop Rocks. Um, shoot, what do we do? I know, I'll stay here, and I'll stay perfectly still, and I'll try and listen for if they move somewhere else. You will go back and get the others to come follow us. Okay, I'm on it. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting jackalopes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just walk into one of the jackalopes eating some electricity. Yeah, what's up, Doc? <laughs> I'm sorry, it would sound more like... <laughs> that, that'd be a horrifying nightmare version of bugs. <laughs> Clearly, it's just it's just a, a bit of role switching. Now, instead of being chased by the Thunder God, Bugs is the Thunder God. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, oh, yeah. can we find uh, Pop Rocks and get over? To yeah, him? Pop Rocks comes out to find you. Yes, you are able to find. Yes, you are able to meet up with them at the door. Hey, we figured out around where the jackalopes are. We need to get to them fast, though, or we're gonna lose them. All right. Uh, yeah. Just that door. Should, that door will probably lock behind us. So, yeah. Let's uh, let's go get them. Oh, you yeah. Do you actually, do you actively close the door? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I opened it. I can certainly close it. All right. Um, yes. So, so yes, the group is, yeah, uh, yes, the whole group is inside the building. Yep, and now we're making our way back towards where Sweet Cake is listening carefully. Uh, yes. Sweet Cake, um, make a, uh, make a perception. Perception. Oh, that's a natural one. You're just all over the spectrum today. A little bit. I have gone temporarily deaf. What? So, Jala, what's While the, what's one of the... those jackalopes nap twenty. Yes, it appears so. So we get so, so we get to you and we're like, "So what do you got? Nothing. What? The others? Yeah. Once, once the others. Okay. Then the others are feel can feel free to make a perception check of their own. Here we go. All together now. 
over the sounds of Sweet Kit going, You guys, I can't hear them anymore. Sixteen. <laughs> Perception stuff for Thor's death bunnies is the comment from Zencon. Yes, I Let's see that. See. That is, that's, that's good. I get a thirteen. <laughs> okay, you hear one set of footprints only, and it's moving about um, above you on the upper story. <sighs> Maybe instead of following their quiet footsteps, we try and look for the spots they'd be attracted to, you know, the parts they're going to feed on. And... Yeah, that one is seems to be moving about, seems to have made its way up to the, to, um, the, the, uh, trusses or rafters, or whatever you call them, is trying to sneak. If, if you look in that direction, you see it trying to sneak its way about through there. Above us? Yes. Well, or, I see. wait, now that I think, well, you hear it coming from up that direction. So now we gotta find some stairs? You can look for stairs. They, they, well, there's a lot of stuff in here. It is neatly organized, so you are able to find um, signs that point towards, that indicate towards the stairs. Well, that's our current lead right now, I guess. To the stairs. Right. So what happens when we go upstairs and try and follow the source of the sound? Um, make another perception check. Made another perception check. You hear it moving, you hear it, the sound moving away from the front of the building back towards the, um, you hear it from the, from the, um, north side of the building to the southern, the southwest side of the building. Guys, what are the odds of rolling two nat ones in a row? Remind me again why setting the building on fire was. <laughs> I'm starting. Bad, I'm starting to come around to your way of thinking, but I like Sweet fire. Sweet just going. Why can't I hear anything? <laughs> <laughs> I got something in my ear. I we should totally no set the building on fire. That'd be hilarious, <laughs> and lots of property damage. But what is going on anyway? By looking for the thing in the place. Oh hey, Weaver's back. We're looking for two. We're looking for two. The rem- remaining two jackalopes in a big old storage maintenance building. Can we just wow. have our boss battle? Can we just roll initiative and have our boss battle against the door's la- door's death bunny? We just keep following it. <laughs> just keep following the sounds. Just assume that we are doing that. <sighs> cool. So if we follow the sounds for long enough, what actually happens? Yeah. You will. Um. You will. You will. Briefly spot it um, between one of the rows. It will spot you back and then try and dart off and dart off to the um, left. We we don't have a map for the building. Eh, <laughs> necromancer. Um. Well, you see what direction it goes. We follow Screw him. It. Okay, it doesn't matter what no. direction yes. he goes. We follow no. him as long as we can um, see him. Yes, make um, yes, make um acrobatics rolls. Uh. Oh, okay. Get this. Oh, cool. Actually, I've got ten in that. I'm fine. Twenty-three. Eight. Not negative one. Ten. Twenty-eight. Nice. You are Everyone actually able- rolled really well. That makes yes. sense. You are actually able to get around and corner it. It is looking about for a possible exit and looking at possible ways to get past you. I scoop it up. Uh, make a, um, um, acro- make an acrobatics or, um... My acrobatics check was 23. Oh, to, um, catch... To catch the thing. So between a 23 and a 28 to catch the jackalope. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, um, you do, yes, you, you catch it. Excellent. Yes, you have, you have a hold of... Yes, and based on the knowledge from before, you can tell that this one with the smaller horns is a female. Okay, now that one's off the floor. Should we roll perception to see if we can't hear the other one? Yeah, let's do that. Because mm-hmm. we were following footsteps, now we don't have to worry about two of them. Well, finally, it is isn't roll. 19. Wow, that that rabbit just failed big time. Yes. You hear 20, a loud... Not- you hear a loud metal clanging sound, making it sound like the other one is near the air ducts. Oh, come on. 
we head off in that and, direction. Yes, like trying to get back out of the building that way. Oh, good. No, you rush that way. Okay, we running rush to it. running to try and catch up. Some should try and go outside and wait at the other end of that that vent entrance if it's trying to escape. Yep. Um. Sure. Do we need to roll might to run, or are you just? Oh, are we just making the assumption? Um. Was was Kupo, er, mm. Actually, yeah, Kupo should already be outside. Oh yeah. Think. Yeah, you came yeah. with us. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, Kupa is Kupa is outside and um yeah, should I is, roll perception to see if I notice a rabbit crawling out through the vents? You can you can make a perception check on the situation. All right. Uh, <laughs> one moment. Just there we go. I rolled a 23. Um, you don't notice a rabbit coming out yet, but you do hear a metal sound from over on the side of the building and see that the air duct over there looks like it's been opened. Then Kuppa's going to head that way and stick her head in the vent. <laughs> make a um, make an acrobatics check. Okay. Oh, goody. Since this one is not uh, haste. It gets the mighty power of Kuppa's three. Uh, a seven. Oh, God. You stick your head in the vent just in time for the jackalope to plow into... For j the jackalope to plow into Kuppa face first, sending um, you tumbling backwards and with the jackalope gripped to uh, Kuppa's face and you roll over backwards... Tell you come to a halt a few feet away from the um from the um the vent. Cup and of screams. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the jackalope will also scream once they once she come once the two of you come to a halt. Big old rabbit antler thing screaming. That doesn't sound like a like a pleasant experience. <laughs> no. Which probably makes Cuppa scream even more. <laughs> yes, and the jackalope once it gets on its feet will kind of dart back in kind of a circular pattern, screaming, having no idea what's going on. <laughs> you confused it. It yes. hurt. It hurt itself in its confusion. <laughs> and then the and then the jackalope runs back, back and bumps into Kuppa again. Just pick it up. Kuppa's gonna try and grab it this time. Still screaming, but ah, you, ah, ah. you successfully grab the jackalope, and the two of you are screaming simultaneously as you stand there <laughs> holding it. Why am I still screaming? Did do the rest of us come outside at this point? <laughs> yes, the two of you. the The rest of the group is outside at this point. And really, it just bursts into applause, like, yeah, go Kappa! <laughs> and the screaming also attracts the attention of, uh, also attracts the, I mean, it's ba it's pretty loud screaming, so it's not very long before, um, both Dundee and, um, the, the, the male zebra are running in that direction, are running in this direction too. Uh, Kappa, Kappa will finally start to scream. A little bit less, mostly because her throat's getting really sore. Uh, 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 and okay. at that point, Dundee, well, actually, the zebra will relieve Kappa of the um, screaming jackalope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then... what? 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 What's all going on here? What? What just happened? I mean, I, it's good that the, that the jackalope's caught, but we, what? We, what's going on here? We did your job for you. We caught them, but we didn't get our cutie marks. Oh, well, Who cares about it, cutie it, marks? It was just kind of fun. Well, it, it's good that the mark. jackalope is... Are you carrying the other jackalope then as well? Yeah, he's, he's carrying the other jackalope. Yes, um, mm -hmm. Dundee will take will relieve um, you of the other jackalope. And, well, it's, it's good that they're caught, and he's not entirely sure what to make of the situation, because, yes, you did catch it, but you did it... By doing things you're not supposed to, so it's maybe let's, and now, let's let's just go back to our class and call it and, a day. And now yeah. that she's finally sort of calmed down, she's just going to put a hoof on uh, Dundee's shoulder and go, 
I would love to talk about this, but uh, I'm a little I'm a little stressed out at the moment. And uh, as you see, I need to get these children back to my class. So we'll talk later, okay? And she's going to just turn around and start pushing the kids towards the front. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Yes. Yes, the group all heads back to the gift shop building where uh they are they are they are causing a bit of a ruckus in spite of the adults attempts to keep them under control the um the the uh, ca- the cashier especially is has is kind of just sitting there with a um i with a um you can tell he, he that his, the thought on his mind is i don't get paid enough for this i don't get paid enough for this i don't get paid enough for this Oh my god, that's so accurate, it hurts. So, the yeah, accuracy. <sighs> so, I take it, like, this This is us seeing this chaos? Yeah. Yes, when you arrive there, this is what you see. Kappa's going oh to walk in, and um, her eye is going to twitch, and then... <laughs> single file! Now! The kids all stop exactly where they are, their heads turn to face Kappa... And then slowly at first, they all move away from where they were, but then they all rush into a single file line. So does Sweet Cake. Aurelia shrugs and gets in line as well. All right. Okay. So did we all have fun at the zoo? Yes, Miss Sunshine. Yes. Well then, let's get home, shall we? Yeah, I'm okay with going home. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, we kind of had our fill. We saw saw gazebos and jackalopes and drakes and that snuggle puss thing. Yeah, and a dwarf tatsel worm and Yeah, I think I've had enough of the city zoo. You are yes, you are able to lead them out and head out of the zoo and head back back to yes. class. Yes. Hmm. Alright. And is that that? I think I I had I think I am going to I mean unless there's anything else you want to do, I think I'm going to call that that. Alright. Uh, I do want to have one thing. Yes. Kappa is going to uh, put a note on Golden Crown, more Pop Rock sweet cakes, and uh, I mean Aurelia doesn't have a desk, but she's going to hand a note to Aurelia that's just that simply says five hundred words. What you learned today? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Pop Rocks is going to look at it. And then he's going to look at you, and he's going to just say, The treachery! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, My little pony. (laughs) My little pony. Okay, Okay. let's let's, not not the whole thing, not the whole thing. (laughs) Um, Can I say one extra thing? Yes. Um, when Cup of Sunshine gets to her desk, there is a plushy jackalope sitting on her on her chair, which Sweet Cup Cake will scream very, and very throw quickly. it at the window. <laughs> <laughs> it will fly straight out the window. Where it lands on the horns of our friendly Minotaur Cup. <laughs> so what you're saying is you didn't want a souvenir. Yes, well, Yes, it will land, it will land, knock off his hat, and he will stop, he will look up and say, what? <laughs> Alright, there's the, there's the credits. <laughs> My little pony friend. Alright. Yes, that's the, that's the mid-credits sequence. <laughs> that, that, that would be the Marvel movie stinger. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard about the Jackalope Initiative? <laughs> it's, it's the Jacks with Lopes Initiative. I'm coming here to build a team. Dundee, I need your Jackalopes. <laughs> what? But they're uncontrollable. I think there could be something done about them. Yeah, I'll get right on that, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Irwin would be an Avenger. Let's be real. Steve- yeah. If he, if he no. wasn't busy, uh, if he wasn't busy actually training raptors at Jurassic World. All right. Shall okay. We, now I student? kind of have an idea, but it kind of goes against the slice of lifeness of Mueller's Take Manhattan because it ends up being a little magical involved. But 
Oh man, it could be uh, fun. Uh, you know, pitch it when when we're done here. Let's uh, okay. let's let's so. do the wrap up. All right, who's doing it today? Not it. Shall I do the second bit since I'm running next week? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, is it still, a, gonna... is it still okay for me to run mine oh, next week? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. I suppose it's... I can do the first part then. <clears throat> uh, this has been Mola's Take Manhattan. Join us next week when we have a cute scenario to go to.